Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the What Did He Say podcast. It's your boy Chingo Bling. We got producer Rob in the building. Got the handheld today. Of course, man. Hey, that's man. I'm so glad you did because I forgot a <laughs> camera and I forgot a microphone. Uh, it was at Casa Bling Studios. Of course, man. We got Javi Luna in the cut. That's a scary I'm, sight. I'm here too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Javi Luna man. is out here lit. <laughs> he yeah, ain't got yeah, no yeah. eyes. I am. Oh, they disappeared already. His yeah. eyes are gone. That shit kicked in quick. <laughs> and and of course he's he's drinking here some ranch water. Shout out Tewakan. to uh, Tewaka Mineral Water. Tamarindo with the pie. No, I'm talking about with pie tequila. Shout out to pie tequila. A Today, winning combination. <laughs> I cover them. Like Today's special guest, man, the homie Bryson Brown is in the building. What's happening? What's up, bro? What up, boy? What's happening, man? Long time no see. Yo, this is like a preview of the Houston House of Blues show, June 16th. Also, some special guests as well on top of that. That's going to be live. But uh, you dropping a project, man, May 26th. May 26th, the new comedy album, bro. It's number three. You know what I mean? The third one. Three and three, bro. Three and three years, man. We working out here, boy. That's you know? great, man. Um, May 26th, though, on, on everything. All the, uh, what, how you say it? The DSPs, digital streaming. Oh, platforms. that's a new one. Oh, I hadn't heard that one. I don't that, know that That's one. a new Oh, you don't know that, that lingo? I, I, I got one foot in the music game. I never it's heard DSP, that. Yeah, yeah. All, on all DSPs. That's, That's how you shorten iTunes, that shit to make it sound. Spotify, yeah, all that. Title, all of. it. Oh of damn! Title you know what I mean? Too. We on all of it, and uh, we we gonna be hitting that that um that serious and that satellite radio too with this motherfucker. So, yeah, bro, I'm, oh, I'm excited okay. about it. Linked up with Helium Records. That's a major comedy club, you know, in the nation. They doing comedy albums. So, uh, yeah, man, we we got that joint cracking. That's fantastic. Uh, lifestyle are, jokes. May twenty six. Are they affiliated with the? The Helium Comedy Club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's like, yeah. Helium Comedy Club, um, Helium Presents. Oh, okay, uh, cool. That's what they call the the, the label. And they they got their own label. And they distribute it by Sony, bro. Damn. Wow. Helium is the label that So, I've been telling motherfuckers I got to deal with Sony. You know what? (laughs) So, so the artist, just, just waiting for my Grammy invite. I've been telling, you know? yeah, man. I've been telling folks, man, Helium, you know, Sony, you know, sign me. Man, <laughs> hey, we need to holler at him, man. Helium Records, Helium. man. Holler at your Helium. boy. Y'all got a marketing Helium. budget. Helium, we got jokes, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah I'll plug you in with the folks, man. Yeah, but, see, what, um, see what's yeah. cracking lacking. Lifestyle Jokes, May 26, bro. Oh, that's amazing, I'm excited bro. Hell yeah. It. Very consistent, like currency. Yeah, you know, that's, you know, that's so the pattern. Th- so, yeah. three... Three in three years. Three and three, bro. Man. We dropped the album, an EP, and then this is another album. That's what you call a catalog, ladies and so gentlemen. We, you know, back and forth. I like to do the album and then drop like an EP. You know, so how short. long is this one? This a whole yeah, yeah, yeah. This one like forty minutes. Wow. Yeah, this one like forty, and it's yeah. it's a few jokes from the EP just buffed up. So that's what I like to do. I drop an EP and kind of give them like the the little skeleton of what's to come type. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh-huh. by the time the album come out, it's going to be, yeah, you know, twisted and turned. Yeah, it's like, like you got mixtapes yeah, and girl. compilations. Exactly. But, you, but you still got to get the album, man. May 26th. Exactly. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I know Bryson back from my music days when I used to walk up in Music Mania. Yeah. I used to work at Music Mania. That boy used to have it going crazy with the merch. <laughs> First one I seen with the bobblehead. <laughs> You know what I mean? It 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 was it was Hollywood Hogan, Macho Man, and it was Chingo. That was it. Everybody else copied. You know what I'm saying? Soccer players ain't even have it. <laughs> Soccer players ain't even have it. Yeah. You feel me? But yeah, now, nah, boy, Ronaldo so, asked me for the plug. Yeah, that that merch game. You like you put a lot of cats on that merch game because you brought it from the hip hop to here. Like you one of them guys who really brought the merch. And, and let more boys know how how important like in the was. comedy world yeah yeah it, I, I didn't know I'm no talking bit. about for I'm talking about for for text you know oh, okay. for me mm-hmm. looking in you know what I mean okay. like I, I'm pretty sure everybody else was doing it everywhere else but I know for me when I seen seen you set up the table it's like oh okay boys got to get it together and it's mm-hmm. funny too it ain't mm-hmm. boys just ain't got a lot of shit he's selling yeah. <laughs> like it's it's a good product that yeah, come with I, come I, with the shit he's selling I did because I ain't know no better because you know I, it was a couple comedians like oh man that's you know. Man, come on, man. You, you, you know, yeah, I hear, I'd hear rumblings and whisperings. But, it's but that's hip hop shit, though. Yeah. Like, I understand it because half of me is hip hop in this comedy shit. Like, everything comedy I do is going to have some form of influence of yeah. hip hop. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, from my videos to my promos, it's, it's all going to be that. You know what I mean? So that's why I understand it. Like, yeah, bro, have, yeah. have. Three different shirts from these folks to choose from. Have a shirt, a tour shirt with all of the cities on that joint that you tapped into because people want a tour right. shirt. That's like rock right. star shit. You feel well, me? Well, guys that, that or comics that, that that talk shit about that, it's because they haven't seen what, how big of a difference, especially being in a feature spot. 
Like, oh yeah, as far as financially, your like if you've got hot merch that you can actually slang and and, and sell and people want. You you can end up doubling your paycheck for, oh, the, yeah. week, for the weekend. Shit, yeah. yeah. But the problem with them is they just think they can just slap a joke, whatever. Yeah. They're, what they, they think they can yeah. just slap their punchline on on a t shirt. Yeah. And wonder how come they only sell five shirts. Or, yeah. You know, like, nah, bro. Like, like yeah, and we know. You know <laughs> half of the like, shit, a lot of the times, man, motherfucker come out with more money from the merch than he did from the actual show mm-hmm. that weekend. Yeah. Like learn, we'll go out and count learn, the learn, count the bread watch, on the merch. Watching this guy, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many comedians realize that. Like how much? Just watch the music industry. Yeah. Like, cause I feel like the comedy industries are like a good 10, 15 years. It's behind behind that. Yeah, just you, I'm you saying, know. dog, from the promo along, from the way the merch is done, from the way you, you roll out an album. Mm-hmm. It's like boys just throw a comedy album out and yeah. be like, I comedy album, like no rollout. No, no promo, setup, no, no setup. setup. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to make sure your audience is primed and ready yeah, yeah. for the thing. Think you're just going to put it out. People you got to be a little quiet yeah. before the album come out, you know what I mean, to build some anticipation. Yeah. And then you got to kind of feed them a little nuggets. And then when the album come out, you just killing with all the yeah. promo and stuff you just accumulated for the months that you were sitting down. That's what rappers do, bro. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. And comedians just figuring out. I mean, music's been... Uh, I'm, I'm figuring it out as he speaks. Well, well, I'm like, damn. Well, that's a- well, the way I see it, like, music has been on that, like, those rumblings of, like, hey, man, fuck the label, stay oh, independent, yeah. do your own thing. Music's been on that for a good mm-hmm. two decades now. Like, and I feel like comedy's... Just get in there where you do it. You're like, there. man, you really don't need an agent. You really don't need that. Like, you, what you need is a social yeah. media following. You can do it yourself. Get a good recording. Put out the clips. You know, if you're funny, it, you, you, it's you gonna know, all be. It's gonna come work around it, but you too. Gotta work it, you, know? you gotta But you, I mean, but you also gotta yeah. about how you want people to find your comedy. Yeah, you gotta also know kind of like the, the ins and outs of the social media too. Like, cause that that joint, you know, that social media, get you a, social a whole media little guy. um. A little, a little thing within oh, yeah, itself. Within you gotta itself, learn yeah. that. Yeah, you gotta learn the algorithm, how that, how that moves, the best mm-hmm. times to post, how to title your joint, yeah. how many hashtags. So it's a whole, it's a whole science. Get you a Juan, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out, out to Juan. Juan. I, was, I, was, I was talking to Juan, about Juan. The, but they're they're charging people. Like I heard, I, there's this one comic that we all know, and I, I ain't gonna out his business, but also he's paying something like, so, something like like three hundred dollars a week to a social media person to put out like. Like a very small amount of videos for him. I'm like, that's God crazy. dang! Like that. That's how valuable this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, I think I think out. people just be finessing. That's well, that, all it well, is. That too, that's a finesse. I was bro. all like, you know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to roll up to Home Depot. Yeah. Like get oh, yeah. one of these day laborers. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, they know it. Hey, <laughs> hey, but they negotiate too. All right, cuánto videos, cuánto videos. Like, come here, let me teach you Adobe real quick. Yeah. Do you ever use CapCut? Like, yeah. This, use this cap is InShot right here. <laughs> See, uh, uh, I need you to watch a couple tutorials right. on your own time. Imagine roll up to Home Depot, we'd be like, "Hey, what do you do? I do, I do a tile, I do a tile, I do cap cut, tile, las techas, y también TikTok." See, I mean, shoot, with all of the comedians that need clips and stuff, video people. People need to go hang out in front of somewhere so we can all just go up mm-hmm. and day labor they oh, there. <laughs> just all of the clubs. best buy by the cameras. Yeah. You need videos recorded? Yeah. Not, not Say, a, man, not I got them edits. I got the edits. I got somebody I got the that doesn't in the DMs. <laughs> hey, man, I do video. I do this. Yeah. yeah. You need something. I learned how to do all of it myself, bro. I do it just Same. enough. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I don't know how to do all the fancy yo, shit. Yo, yo, <laughs> uh, man, shout out to El Gordo Mamon. Uh, I learned I learned so much from so many comedians, but like uh, this is one of the recent uh, instances, right? So I just did Sacramento and San Jose. Shout out to everybody who pulled up mm. and uh, go to the Mamon featured uh, and just watching him work like off stage. Yeah. He's like, "Hey man, you hungry? Man, y'all want to fuck? Hold on, hey, exit right here." And it's like, man, free. Because that's one of my clients. I did a couple videos for him. One of them went viral mm. type shit. Later on, like, hey, man, y'all hungry after the show? Come on, let's right here. Bam, burritos, all kind of Mexican food. And uh, boom, ain't nobody paying. We, he just, hey, let's take a picture right here by the sign real quick. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 negotiated. Yeah. And then he was like, hey, man, I'll be right back. Came back with a whole promo because he wears them little mics. Uh-huh. Uh, a road mic clip-on thing. And he got the other end of the receiver on the, on the cell phone. So as he's, I'm giving y'all too much game, man. It's the what did he said podcast. What That's did he said podcast. How you supposed to do it so though. yeah, no, I'm gonna give it to y'all. But I'm just make sure y'all appreciate. Mm-hmm. So when he shot the promo, 
He'll even be talking to like a homeless dude, like, hey man, you coming to the show? Like off far. Uh, and he picks up the whole convo, like almost like hidden camera. And he's talking to the bus driver. Yeah, man, tonight, man, the show. And he's like, ah, I'll check it out. Like people still behaving normal because they think they just talking to a dude. Yeah. And yeah, cutting the whole promo. You ain't got no excuse. You live right here in this building. You know? <laughs> and then and I was like, damn, this boy got a whole other separate uh side hustle. That's tight, bro. On Not like them like, restaurant clients and so yeah, that's, that mean, that's that's what we saying, bro. That promo, any way you can pro, promo that, especially in clip form and drop it and like vlog little form. Shout out to Tewakan, man. They uh, yeah, they sponsor I, this is my first board. time having mineral water. You know what I mean? So you I, you I had a uh, we normally don't bring up Topo Chico on here because they not. What? But you done had Topo Chico Beep. before, right? Mm? Topo Chico, have you had that? No, nah, it's that? similar, but it's owned by Coca Cola now. But Tewakan, this come from like. Puebla, uh, Pueblo, Mexico, uh, Puebla, volcanic rock. It take eight uh, years to come out from, that from, way. From the tears of an Aztec and, priest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Each bottle has a drop. Yeah, yeah, so it's really technically per volume. Yeah. It's some holy it's shit. It's holy water. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I really don't like like water unless it really have a little bit of taste to it, and uh, it, it's the minerals in there that I drink it like nothing. Regular plastic water bottle that don't have do nothing it. added to it. Mm -hmm. Don't want to sound bougie, mm -hmm. but it just mm -hmm. tastes like chlorine and plastic. And I, the algorithm been feeding me videos of like rusty pipes and this man, this what they put in the water and <laughs> random studies. Like, man, they put fluoride. Man, Hitler was putting the fluoride. Yeah. He figured it out first. Mm -hmm. They say it's good for your teeth. And da, 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 da. next yeah. thing you know, man, you hey, looking into it. That shit no good. So, yeah, this, this, yeah I like on. this though, right? Here. Water. It's decent. I fool with that. I'm going to get some cases of that. Yo, um, Javi has a show coming up May... May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Is this coming out before then? San Antonio, Texas, man, at Upstage Comedy Lounge. It's Gordito de Mayo. I, allegedly, I might pull up. I got to holler at my old lady because I got a show the next day in College Station. And I got to get this bomb, these two bombs out the way, bro. These two bombs <laughs> in the valley. Oh, word. What, bro, what, can what? I tell y'all real quick? Bro. I got to hear the story, bro. Now, the valley folks, that's... You know I, what I, mean? I, can, I know. I consider... I don't... I consider these bombs, okay. but anybody else probably be like, man, that was skillful. Okay. <laughs> so okay. check this out. The first show was in Brownsville at the bar. Dope ass venue. Tons of people crammed in. However, there was a dude in the front row mm -hmm. and he was on something. His eyes looked a little off. He was probably too <laughs> drunk. <laughs> and then he's just like bit. trying to heckle. I did some like rap thing. He's like, ah, ugh, like belligerent, yeah. thumbs down me and shit. And I'm I'm trying to like ignore him, work around him, roast him a little bit, and involve him in the show. Mm -hmm. Now he said he calling me the B word and the P word. Oh, oh shit! He didn't call me P word, bro. And he's right oh. here now. He's standing calling up. You all the way out your name. And Why he, was he so upset? <laughs> he just I have no idea, bro. Why so was he so upset? He's probably like you should have took command of the crowd better. <laughs> You know how you would have entered the thing. I would have asked him why you were so upset. Dog, next thing you know, well, see, no, like he's, but let me tell you why I was upset. Was? I got some shit going on in my personal life. I know it's, why you upset. And, and, now, <laughs> and that's why I was finna take it out on his head. I was finna punt his whole head because he now he's standing up, yeah. bro. Now he's yeah. standing up at the edge of the stage. Now, let me just remind y'all, I'm a white belt, only two stripes. Only but you two know stripes. some shit. That's all I, that matters. Only two stripes. So I... It just gave that yo, little bit of confidence to where you're like... Your stance is cool. They said, a whole bunch of witnesses, yeah, to where my stance is cool. So I'm like, you're not finna run up here. Like, you're not... You already stumbling. And I don't need no more legal problems. That's really what mm -hmm. how I assess the situation. But it was finna be a lot of witnesses to me taking my anger out. And I had to be... You know, I, that's the sensei part. Mm -hmm. That's the mind. That's the mental Boy. part of, of combat sports. Yeah. Yeah. But I was finna put all two stripes of my training... On this dude. On this guy in the front row. What joke didn't he like, though? But see, like, you, I think I was remember? doing some rap shit, and he started doing a little thumbs down. Oh, you see, that, 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 like... That's the thing about being a headliner that I think no, a lot I, of people... No, no. I'm I didn't even somewhere. go last. No, no. I'm going, oh, okay. Well, okay, so you wasn't a headliner. But I, I'm, I, 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 because when you're the person that everybody come to see, like you're going to have those people who either so excited, motherfuckers just start talking, or they just... There this to be there now they kind of there to be haters you know what I mean so yeah you so deal I, with I shit think that like was that. a big part of it but this was a triple threat show it was me Mario Salazar and Raymond Orta so I didn't want to go last mm -hmm. um, you know I'm working out some new stuff I said man just put me in the middle so now the next day I said you know what I kind of want the challenge and the freedom to go first 
in Alamo, Texas. Out, it was outdoors. Outside. I didn't know that part. Outside. Check this out. Yeah, it was outdoors mm-hmm. and it was still sun out. Mm-hmm. And so you got a street over here, mm-hmm. and you got people like starting to sit down on the picnic tables. And you had a, a boxing fight. The pre the preliminaries <laughs> was playing on a giant screen behind me. Were you at rail, rail, rail yard or the uh, the landmark? Uh, landmark. 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 Yeah, Such yeah, a perfect spot outdoor. for comedy, bro. Both outdoor. I started trying to do commentary of the fight going on behind oh, me, like man, doing a live bro. voiceover. Right. But. I just didn't really commit. Like, it was lit to me because I was a little high right before. So I was freestyling everything. It was all freestyle. It was two little teenage boys, like, giggling. You could see their feet uh, (laughs) coughing and giggling right here behind the screen. So I'm over Uh here trying to bring them into the show. Now I'm roasting his parents. He just made it fun. Hey, Panzón, y el Pokemon Go, ¿qué pasó? I I pay for the Pokemon Go. You're not walking no more. (laughs) <clears throat> anyway, you just uh, made it fun on that one. So by the time it got dark, now you could tell there's like those uh, lights, uh-huh. the strings of the lights, uh-huh. and and now you know vibe, yeah. you know you got Mario up there killing it, you got Raymond up there killing it, and you know by then they're like everyone settled in, and yeah. you know outdoor comedy man, I feel like that, you got yeah, you got to grade it on a little bit of a curve. You know, yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Too outdoor kind. If it's right. not in a like a, yeah. a field with nothing going on around, man, it, right. it, it's not easy, bro. I'm gonna tell you. Um, I think it's called Sunset Station in San Antonio mm-hmm. or something like that. It's a have y'all it's like been? a concert venue, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably like the one of the best outside things yeah. I've done. Just, I mean, it's yeah. kind of off the highway, but it's it's not. You don't hear it. And yeah, because it, it's it's normally they do like big music concerts. Yeah, I did a comedy show there, yeah. like when I first started, bro. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I did it with yeah with this cat White Chocolate out of Dallas and. Oh dang! Yeah. It was a couple other people I can't remember. But, yeah, we I ain't seen shit. him in years. He man. passed away. Bro. Oh, that's right. That's why you ain't seen him. You'll see him soon, baby. <laughs> Later right. on, yeah. hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I just did my my uh, 420 event, and it was an outdoor mm-hmm. thing too. But it's just kind of like yeah, like that. It's a, it's a little different. I don't know. It's if, a little different. I don't know though. if non comedy people understand it. Like it does. Like because after that, like this other dude was like, "Man, let's get that flatbed and like yeah. let's do a show out at the beach and stuff." It's like. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, like, I mean, you can host some stuff. You yeah. could do some jokes out there, but like to go watch like a, like an hour long comedy show. Have you ever did comedy with people situation? standing up in the crowd like a like like oh. a concert? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's weird as hell, yeah, bro. That's weird too. Like and, people just standing outdoors. up looking at you. And outdoors. And outdoors. And I'm that doing was, like that inside. This was in like Hannibal uh, Birds be having shows and shit, and like motherfuckers be standing up like yeah, nobody seen, got no chance. I've, I've seen Doug Sandhope do it. But I have. I, don't think it's I, saw, yeah, I saw Michael Shea do it at a warehouse live. It's man. weird. It's it's different. It's different for sure. I'm I'm standing up. Uh, I'll tell you what though. House of Blues, June sixteenth. The main room, bro. Oh, we we went and shot a promo yesterday. Uh, me and Juan went out there and shot a bunch of little B roll shots. Yeah. And I stood on the stage and uh, I had. I don't think. I think I've stood on that stage like when I was promoting some other House of Blues show a long time ago. Yeah. But I didn't perform in that room. Mm. And standing on that stage, I saw how like, like how kind of like the upper mezzanine amphitheater style, it's like above you and they're looking down. And then I went and sat in those seats up there and it's like, bro, you still got a good view, but you- So, so, oh, so we in, we in, we in some shit. We're in the actual theater. We're, we're like we're their, like their main room. They're gonna put they uh, rooms, right? they're gonna put chairs and tables and stuff down at the bottom where normally if it were a rap concert mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. stand. Would be, yeah. yeah, so that's gonna be tables and chairs, mm-hmm. and then of course everything up top is like theater seating. Yeah, so I think I'm looking I forward to that. People, it's not like at one of the because they they got like little bars and yeah, stuff, like the foundation it's not, it's not like room, a, yeah, it's not uh, like the bronze the, peacock room. It's in it's in like the no nah, the yeah, concert. The, these hall. seats go up and down like that when you get up, pop back up like that. Yeah. These, these them type of seats. Okay, yeah. we fooling with it. We in a good little location. I fuck with you know, it. The, yeah, the, we in the, the main. Seat, the seats the main that my daughter room. is terrified of. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> back up like that. Yo, good for real. Don't and trust you know no you in a good venue. When, when yeah, I gotta sit down like first. That. I gotta put my leg like over, <laughs> over the Because you think you're gonna fall down, down right? <laughs> she thinks it's gonna eat her all the way up. She's yeah. terrified of the movie theater seats, man. Yeah, man. So San Antonio, I might pull up. I want to pull up. Got to get them bombs out the way. You know what I'm saying? Get, so, I, I don't know. I can turn this off. I just got to persuade. I just got to persuade my wife and let her know, like, we got a little track. I, I got to get room. I got to go out there. And then the next day, I'll see you in College Station. Mm-hmm. And, you know what I'm saying? Daddy got to, you know what I'm saying? I'll be back to November. I'm gone to November. Gone to you there. I got to go get it out in, in Ohio. You going to Ohio? No, nah, I'm just saying. Oh. I'm, quote, I'm, I'm thinking more of like a rap. Oh, Top of you gotta reference. have more dates. Yeah, you can't just say 
going to November and they just had one day. So you <laughs> <laughs> going to November. Ask, ask, ask some shit. Space, bro, bro, <laughs> speaking of going to November, which I think White Club did a song. Uh, did y'all hear prize from the Fuji? Bro. Uh, had got a hundred million dollars from the CC from China from the CCP and and was involved in some political funding <laughs> thing so and then like he a, was a Fed a so fed he was a double agent <laughs> he was a spy for the CCP and he was an American <laughs> federal uh, I guess like informant. <laughs> Nice. Nah, mama was in the yeah, studio yeah. getting all of the juice. <laughs> man, you're talking yeah, to the was, shirt. That shit. was before the <laughs> DJ podcaster was oh, a thing. Acting like he put he put deuce and he leaning over the wire up under the shirt. <laughs> Bro, have you seen a DJ? <laughs> he put your no buttons. Yeah. And shit. Have you seen a Why DJ Vlad interview when he interviewed Boosie this one time? Because mm-hmm. it was like he's interviewed him a million times. Yeah. Did you see the one? He's like, wait. So you had a co-defendant on this death row murder life trial? He's like. Yeah, and he was like, and he was only fifteen. He's like, yeah, and he's like, and then he changed his story, like when it was about to go to trial. He's like, yeah, and he so then he told the truth, and he's like, wait, so you got off because your fifteen-year-old co-defendant changed his story? He's like, yeah, before trial, he changes, he told the truth that time, and I was like, bro, you Black, gotta he, he flat be pushing it, bro. He'll get, he'll get you to talk. He'll get you to say some shit. He'll get you. Yeah, yeah. Facts. He'll get you. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone, all right? I'm going to leave that one all the way alone. I mean, like, the, there was this one episode of Blippy one time that went pretty hard, too. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't see none of this shit. That, oh, no. Nah, Blippy. I was going to say, you know about Blippy, too? Yeah, <laughs> he got some shit. <laughs> like, that's what I want. That's all I get Blippy to watch, got man. some shit, bro. Didn't he used to do some wild shit on YouTube? You never heard of this? <laughs> they say he was a stripper or something, bro. Oh, I heard he, like, doo-dooed on his friend's <laughs> head <laughs> for, like, YouTube clout. <laughs> My daughter loved Blippi, fam. I just right, found this shit. It's something off. Said, I just found out like, like, like he was a stripper or some shit like it's that. It's something bro. off about that about Blippi, bro. It's yeah. something off. Man, I'm I don't like, know. Damn, I can't even fuck around with him. I, I can't have that off. demon in my household. Turn this shit. He dancing and Blippi. shit. Out. He danced too much on the show as it is. I don't Blippi. know those moves. What kind Blippi. of moves are those, Blippi? Blippi. Miss Rachel? He, he, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. It feel like he's propped up by the algorithm. Like, for mm-hmm. example, if you pick... And I know he's popular, so it's mm-hmm. kind of like, Chingo, why wouldn't his song pop up after Baby Shark mm-hmm. when you go to Apple Music and you just press, like, kids, uh, car ride music? Mm-hmm. It's like, come on, dog. You, it should pop up. You mm-hmm. pushing Blippy on, on the kids, bro? Come on, dog. Yeah. yeah. So it's Must, a full it was, frontal attack, bro. Once they watch him, it's over, too. It's a full and, but, frontal but Blippi's attack. Blippy's doing what? But what you telling them? Nah, he ain't doing no indoctrinating, but... I said, he's talking about... I was like, all I've heard is excavator. I was like, <laughs> yeah. man, they want these kids to be... That's cold, <laughs> man. They grooming, dog. <laughs> they grooming these they kids grooming to, the be, children. to be excavators, man. <laughs> Why my four-year-old talking about getting forklift certified yeah. all of a sudden, man? <laughs> 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 oh ain't, dreaming. ain't dreaming for enough Let of them me. be kids, Blippi. Yeah, man, come on, man. Why you got my kids thinking about trades and shit? Yeah, man. You're talking about wanting to be a farmer. Indoctrinating the children, bro. My, yeah, my, my two-year-old love Blippi. She can spell it and everything. <laughs> Barely putting sentences together, but she'll spell Blippi. She, oh, she's two? Yeah, already. bro. Two, when she turned three? Like, so uh, September. Yeah. My, uh, my littlest one turns two. Soon, yeah. couple oh, months. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. We, around yeah. Time, we yeah. right around the corner, bro. That's right. Yeah, man. So, uh, start it over, you know, 43. I can't wait to get off diapers and formula. I, I know a little bit that about that. That shit expensive, right? I'm just looking at that crib. Like, she finally stopped sleeping out the crib. So, now I'm like, okay, now now could we sell the crib? She's like, well, I want to hang on to it just in case, you know, in case you change. I said, this is an <laughs> item. We could make more space. Mm-hmm. Like, let me put it on offer mm-hmm. up. Yeah, get mm-hmm. rid of all that stuff. Yeah, sure. I'm really trying to put something for me in the garage because it's nothing but power wheels and Baby bike, stuff. bicycles. You have no room, dog. I know. Zero. Trust me. Yeah. It's a pony. It's a that. I got a little corner in the garage for my little green screen studio, and I got to do everything in this little box if I want to film anything. Everything else is bikes and <laughs> painting stuff and bubbles. I have nothing, bro. Nothing. Like, yeah, all my little room is gone at the crib. <laughs> you ain't got no space. I got a yeah, quarter space, of the living room. Like, that's that's what I got. it. Man, let's have- I, I started over twice. Yeah. So I got I got I got seven and six years between my three kids. Yeah, I got six. So 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 I, they were, I was already done diapers. 
car car, car, car seat out. Just got the little booster seat that you could just throw in there. Yeah. And then he oh, was already on booster. Yeah, to start all another, the way over. Here comes another one. Reinstall the car seat. And learning how to put that car seat yeah, back how, in, boy. Yeah. How do you? How do you? My whole shirt again? was wet trying to. How many put ounces that damn of water for the formula again? Yeah. <laughs> for real, dog. Yeah, Rob, how's it going in Central Texas, my brother? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I should have moved yeah. years ago. So you, you get you just feel more like just. Bruh. How often do y'all tour like the that area, like you know the Goofies area? Like it's beautiful, right? It's what beautiful. area is this? You no, know, like San Marcos. Oh, okay, okay. Austin, yeah. like right. There. Central Texas. Central, yeah, right oh, okay. in the center. You know, I'm from Austin, so yeah. I would, okay, I would, cool. Yeah, up and down San Marcos. That's right. Shopping and all that. How long? How long did you live in Austin? I'm from there. Born. Born there. I'm born and raised out there. When'd you move over here? I'm, I've been in Houston about ten years. What, what do you like more? What area? Austin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm Austin. Austin a little slow. It's more slower. It is well, a little I mean, slower. I mean, Except guess, that traffic. Guess, yeah, I guess I can't say mm. not no more. Not yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now it's, it's way fast paced, but I guess still living in my growing up days. Yeah. A little slower. Well, Did you ever go back? Smaller. Uh, I would go back. That's probably the only place I would move if I was to move from Houston. Yeah. Yeah, it's back home. I said the same thing. It's a slower pace. Like, mm-hmm. it's just a slower pace. It's, slower pace. it's still just as busy like, in some areas, but, man, it's just like, plus it looks better. It's nicer. Yeah, yeah. And Houston just big. Hey, this is a big city. Bro. Yeah. I've been here 10 years. And huh? It's still over Bucky's every day? Uh, I don't have a Bucky super close. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you're not that close? Not that close. But I'm like I'm like 30 minutes from like South Austin. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to give mm. my way Rob's coordinates and shit. So, <laughs> I know, right? So you're saying you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're like, like <laughs> so we Starbucks. Yeah, exactly, minutes. right? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, whenever y'all are in the area, come through. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, Super yeah, cool. I, yeah, I like that. Look, I like that area where you at. That's dope. Well, we do. Um, we do Canyon Lake. Yeah, which is like about 35 minutes, 40 yeah, minutes. So, yeah. I did Dripping Springs a little. Uh, Couple times at the beginning of the year. Yeah, we're there all the time for yeah. softball for the kids. Yeah, it's nice. It's that, so nice. I like Dripping Springs. It's nice. Good pizza. Good good winery. Dude, wineries, uh, all this distilleries, yeah, breweries. Yeah. There's like six or seven on one road. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool mm. in New Braunfels in uh, yeah. Dripping Springs. Dripping Springs. Yeah. 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 Uh. yeah I how's Jiu Jitsu going? Pretty good. Yeah. I can only get to one day a week right now though. Okay. What so. else you want somebody ask Jiu Jitsu? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the kids, the wife. The wife's a blue belt. She's a bit more advanced than Chino and I. See, that's why you. That's well, why you don't just mess with anybody, bro. You never know what people know. <laughs> well, what belt are you on? Now? I'm still white belt too. Oh, you're still white. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what blue blues, blues the next traffic. one? Yeah, blues, blues next. next one. Blues next. Yeah. Yeah, I really thought I was gonna have to use that shit, dog, for the first time and at the show. Uh huh. That venue though can't. How many? How many moves you remember, bro? <laughs> how many well, moves? Know, you I know the uh, comb your hair. You know if it's a, if it's a standing position. <laughs> like if they Your swing stance, on you though, I'm telling you like I'm a good stance I got a real good stance a Stance bro. Bro. Yeah my stance sell is it, Sell it with the stance So hopefully the stance You know What, what you do Philly, Philly you. shell What do you, what do you go with no, I just you know Pinky out with the stance If you put the pinky out right there Like damn his pinky out bro He don't give a shit about his hands <laughs> and, and, Are you one of these With a hand Yeah, yeah I'm gonna move it bro I'm gonna move it I'm gonna, The knees gonna get low You know what I mean I'm okay. gonna get low I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, you know get low. And hopefully by, by you, When you see the stance You're like man I ain't trying to fight you But is your jab like decent You Nah I just got a good stance bro Okay the Get him with that Javante Davis the stance We don't know what's gonna happen bro I'm 38. I ain't fought in years, but I know the stance. I still got the it's intimidation. Like, it's, like, it's intimidation. It's like basketball, bro. You never yeah. lose your dribble. You never yeah. lose your shot when you by yourself. But yeah. when the game starts, yeah. eight percent mental. <laughs> you gonna fumble that motherfucker? You in, ain't playing. It's, it's in your muscle memory. Yeah, yeah, man. So my stance is the shit. That's but I'm, I don't like to fight. I'm at that age, bro. Yeah, it take nah, too long to heal. Nah, now, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> 38. Oh, okay, 38. Swing yeah. the wrong way, fuck up your road. Take the uh, dude, I, I was really, bro, I thought that while I'm on stage trying to like still get the jokes, I'm literally thinking in my head like, if I embarrass him in front of all these people, bro, he's really going to go get a gun. Oh, yeah, he at home. Oh, yeah. yeah he he's going to go home. get a gun if I embarrass him in front of all these people. That's one thing about whooping somebody ass on the road. They at home. <laughs> they at home. Yeah. You got to go back to the hotel. Yeah, you, you over there like, uh, which part of Harlingen? <laughs> you can't just fly yeah, out. That's <laughs> so true. I had a whole lot of fragile egos out there. And, and back in the day, we were in, in the rap days, we were in wrapped vehicles, wrapped suburban. <laughs> Giving like, away your location. Hell no. <laughs> Hell Smiling no. all on the side of the van. That ain't go right there. Or, or you be in Cal- you literally one time we were in California, like the whole crew, rap vehicles and stuff, and and we're walking out and all the homies like, man, we had all the hoes on, man, the whole club, everybody looking our direction. VIP was lit. Every motherfucker was salty. They were salty. You pull up to your shit, fucking a brick right through your fucking window. <laughs> shit. 
How they know it was our yeah. band? <laughs> <laughs> Your face Man, on the it door. was salty. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic year location. Yeah. <laughs> Just seen Nate Diaz and uh, he was in Louisiana, right? Put that boy on the guillotine. And then now the the cops they set out a, an arrest warrant for him because they choked him and then he just let him fall and hit his head or something. Why do you st- you can't step up to a fucking yeah. UFC fighter or anybody, bro? They don't they don't want you to have self defense. If you're famous and you defend yourself, you're fucked. You got the law against you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless you're uh, or get- or even if you, like like Buddy in, in in Austin, man, the dude was in his car. Suppose he was an Uber driver driving through the BLM thing, and allegedly the one dude pointed a gun at him, and then he bop got him first, and then they're like, yeah, bro, but you probably could have like not did Oof. that. Oof. Mm. What's the guy on the movie set that just got he got off? Uh, was it uh, uh, Baldwin? Baldwin, Baldwin, right? Alec Baldwin, right? Yeah. yeah. Just free. No, free to go? No, no repercussions. No Man, repercussions. that's a whole other podcast, Rob. You're I know right. you're trying to take it. <laughs> I know you're trying to take it, Rob. Kind of like his political affiliation. I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Rob trying to play dumb. He brought that. He brought that Central Texas up here. I don't, I don't know Come why. Take I don't know why they let him. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Weird? What's the guy's name? I'm like Rob. You know his name, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> some famous guy. I don't know. In the particular, it's working against him. Political sauce on the non-political sandwich. <laughs> that's funny, is it? <laughs> non-political sauce on the political but uh yeah man uh how's it been going with like uh, you you bringing back the uh the basketball sketches or? yeah 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 so bringing that back um i'm waiting on the jersey <laughs> fucking china <laughs> yeah, i'm bringing the political yeah, in here again. Take, yeah, take, the taking 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 so long to make the jersey <laughs> so <laughs> get it together alibaba as soon as the uniform gets here i can start shooting this shit but uh, oh, yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, hopefully around. Um, hopefully them, uh, it come Friday and I can close out this this first uh, this first round and start bringing it up. You know what I mean? Um, what are the go, socials not, for everybody? For everybody to follow you? Oh, gonna... underscore Bryson Brown, man. Uh, he's talking about the bench warmer. I do this character called the bench warmer. He played for the NBA, but he never get in the game. You know what I mean? So he just talks shit on the bench. You know what I mean? <laughs> never get in, never play, but he's happy with that. You know what I mean? He ain't tripping. <laughs> and he you know? should, I love what you do when he just switches teams. Yeah, he switches teams. So every time they lose, he gets traded to another team. So he's going to win it. He's going to win the ring regardless, bro. He got the best agent in the game, the name Russo. And he's all, and there's always a uh, there's always a photo check-in of man, you know, Russo making a call. Yeah, Hop, Russo making a call. Hopped off the PJ. <laughs> <laughs> Over here with Bron Bron. Yeah, and I got a twist on this one bro so yeah this this one so yeah as soon as the little uniforms come bro we can start pushing it you know what i mean and so yeah we got that coming back to bench warmer hey dude you mess around and um make a little web series where it's kind of like entourage yeah yeah where, yeah where it's almost like taking that same story you know well kind of like um what was it show me the money oh uh your boy um damn what was Cuba that good right? jerry mcguire yeah yeah, yeah yeah jerry mcguire like entourage but like jerry, <laughs> like basically like the characters around what's your character's name again? The uh, he's just, he's just the, the bench warmer. warmer. He so ain't the got bench no warmer. So so basically like it's like Entourage Junior. We're like he he's he's NBA, but he ain't really a star. Yeah, he yeah. really just more so be bullshitting. Gilbert and, Arenas loves that character, bro. Gilbert what? Arenas, he like he, that's like one of the one of the few famous people that that like every time I post it, he he got something to say about. Oh, that's dope. It's a great character. I like I like your other one too. The 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 guys that have beef. Oh, the beef continued. The homie. Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. All that shit. <laughs> that whole ass shit. <laughs> the beef continued. Yeah, so that's just like some shit, man. He, he never says what he, he did. He never say what he, <laughs> what he did. Like that's just who. <laughs> dudes man they always beef but they they get on live yeah subliminal it's subliminal and they don't tag who they beefing and you just in the story you just in this web of this story like <laughs> what the fuck happened and he's doing this shit like he once a week he's gonna do a video and he's gonna look in the camera and talk to this dude and i'm pretty sure the dude don't even know he's talking to him nobody knows bro <laughs> what did he do he doesn't explain it he's just upset early in the nobody, morning nothing. he don't tag nobody <laughs> And so yeah, I got it where he steal my phone, so he talking through me. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's just some silly oh my shit. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's some silly shit, man. So appreciate it, man. Yeah, just just trying to stay creative. I be at the house, man. You Hell know, yeah. Just thinking this shit. And that's how the bench woman just like, man. I wonder. I bet. I bet it's a dude on the bench, bro. Who just who cool with that shit? Because everybody think everybody want to play. It's cool. Some, some motherfuckers just cool. They got yeah, that. Yeah, well, well, at every job, right? They just do this shit. <laughs> clock in. I'm going to clock in. I'm good, I'm, bro. I'm, I'm, shit, I, I mean, I got here, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I ain't got to play. Y'all do that shit, bro. As long as I'm on the roster. Just on the practice squad. Just on the practice squad, yeah. man. What do you say? He got recipes. He be cooking for the team. Yeah, yeah. He cook on the bench, man. You know what I mean? On the bench. He cook yeah. on the bench. He keep everybody healthy. You know what I 
mean, that's his job, bro. He just Cal- regiments. He just come up with regiments. Galvanize, galvanize yeah, the, the troops. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He just get everybody in the same excited. foxhole, baby. Yeah. We in the same foxhole. He in a foxhole with you. He just ain't gonna play with you. I, I can give you some tags, man, because yeah. you know what I'm saying I ain't make the team, <laughs> and I was gonna go do something else. But all my boys on the team, they're like, "Come on, bro, you gotta be the manager, bro." I'm like, "Man, that's water boy." Like, "Nah, man, you gotta be man. the manager." You get you sit next to the girls and you take you nah. Take score. Know, I was the manager one year, bro, because I thought I thought me being the manager coach was gonna feel sorry for me. Be like, "Man, come on, get on the goddamn <laughs> team." Yeah, you ain't making the team either, bro. bro. Oh, I thought maybe someone twist their ankle. Yeah, bro. So I made you the know. team. I made it my freshman year. My freshman year, I made the team. My sophomore year, I, that's when I didn't make the team. So I was on some Jordan shit. You know how they say Jordan didn't make it yeah. his sophomore year. Uh-huh. But they don't tell you Jordan fucking on JV. Yeah. He, he, yeah, he didn't make varsity, my nigga. Yeah, but he yeah. still fucking played. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? You had to do the deep plane. research yeah, to learn let, that they shit. Let the context. Yeah. If they yeah. went to the playoffs, they would have They, <laughs> they always said miles. Jordan didn't make it his sophomore year. Well, fuck, he still played, though. He just on JV, bro. He got you a know, jacket the next know. year. Someone twist their ankle or something. They going to call him up, bro. Get a movie moment. Bro, Lopez, I, take your jersey off. <laughs> you going to run your ass in there and fucking have you on varsity. Now you got a jacket. I, I hit a three in tryouts and everything. It was ugly. It was from way down here like Pistol Pete from the hip. <laughs> but he went in. I hit a three, so I was like, man, bro. I think I got a shot. But hell no, nah, bro. I was yeah. making sure the, the towels was fluffed up. I got cut my sophomore year. Then I came back junior year, played junior year, JV, and then my senior year got up the floor. Well, you got to play varsity senior year. Yeah. But made it senior year. But shit, senior year, that's what that's. And that's kind of like where the bench warmer come from, too. That's, that's kind of like some real shit because I really rode the bench. Hey, don't give me your, your secrets, man. Y'all, to your inspiration. Yeah, man. bro. Yeah, I guess that. It all stems it, from, it all from the truth like, somewhere. Everything. Man. Yeah, all, especially with my shit. That's why I'm. The album called Lifestyle Jokes. Album plug. Hey. May 26. I was finna, you, you, it was already teed up. Lobbed it up. Yeah, Real life ask, situations. How'd you arrive at that title for this one? You three albums in. Are you running out of titles? Yet? Nah, man, I ain't gonna lie. It don't take long for me to to name shit. I just name it however I'm feeling at the time and however the jokes kind of orchestrating so i felt like all these jokes were like real life situation jokes mm-hmm. so just like lifestyle joke cool you know what i mean and, and that's why i just went with this lifestyle shit can't wait to hear it man may 26 lifestyle jokes bryson yeah. brown yes sir uh follow him online so you can see what shows and everything yeah we back on the road heavy this summer um you know i'm, I'm you know with bruce 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 moving back with him this summer um got a few dates with ali you know what I mean? You know. That's why I'll be trying to be like, man, please tell me you free. Yeah. He, he had to move <laughs> stuff around. Got with you. He had to move stuff around. Blues. House of Blues, June, June you know 16th. I mean? So, man, I, I mean, it just feel good to have y'all boys just fool. Because, you know, core, corely, y'all the headliners that I move with. Um, and I, I really don't be trying to reach out or even move with, you know, a lot of people. Like, I'm come, y'all, y'all let me rock. There's no restrictions with y'all boys. You know what I mean? Y'all... Y'all, I, you know, I don't never ask for no money, but y'all, all, y'all treat y'all, y'all, you know, it's it's a le- it's man, y'all just some real individuals. Well, we got some bro. new rules coming up, man. Yeah. It's gonna be no cussing. <laughs> uh, certain, certain, you know, <laughs> hey man, before, you ain't doing no lifestyle jokes before I go up, right? Because no I'm gonna hit y'all with the lifestyle set. <laughs> it's the What Did He Said podcast. Thank y'all for subscribing and tuning in. Please tell a friend. Hit that button. Das. <laughs>